feet, bend your knees. Um, or the other option is to press your low back into the mat. But we'll go over that in a moment. So here, your spine is nice and long. You're gonna take your tailbone and you're gonna think that you're drawing a circle behind you. So your ribs and shoulders are not moving. You're just curling your tailbone under and then lifting it up around and down. You're gonna make two or three little circles here. It's pretty small. You're just mobilizing your pelvis, separating the movement from your ribs so they can move independently. And then you're gonna reverse. And as you do this, you can sort of feel your abs draw in and around how it goes from your oblique to the center of your abdominals and then over to that other oblique. One more time with direction. And then you're gonna find a nice neutral spine here. Feel your ribs drawing towards your hips in the center, low back is flat. Reach your right arm up to the ceiling, look towards your fingertips, and then slide that arm underneath. Bend your left, reach with your right fingertips, and then reach that arm back up to the ceiling. And then again, spiral. Your spine around, lengthen the crown of your head to your tail, and then back up. One more time here. This should feel nice. And then lowering your right hand, left hand reaches up, reach, reach towards your fingers, and then bend that right arm. Look underneath, reach your left fingertips away from your shoulder, and then back up. Two more. And reach back up, and on this last one, really feel your sitting bones reach back behind you, rotate, and then come back to the center. And then your hands are right under your shoulders, extend your right leg back behind you, left arm out in front. Abs draw in, and then close your arm and leg up, and then tap down. And thinking about lifting, because your fingertips and toes are reaching so far away from one another that everything just floats up off the ground. Make sure you're keeping that right hip lifted so you're square through the shoulder. Three more. Pressing all the way through your right hand, not just in the heel of your hand. Two. Last one, reach it long, bend under or around your spine, and then reach long. Don't worry about your knee and elbow coming towards each other. You can bring it in a diagonal or just in parallel, whatever feels better. Round your spine, draw your abs in. Back to neutral, two more. And lengthen, last one. And extend, and then lower everything all the way down. Switching sides here, left leg extends, right arm. Welcome them away from one another. Lift from where the hamstring meets your glute. And lift. And then on that right arm, as you lift, try to think about your arm floating off your back. And by that, I mean lifting from your bicep rather than your fingertips. And feeling the connection all the way down that right side. Last one, keep it lengthened, extend, and then bend all the way in, and extend. Again, pressing all the way through that left hand. Right side is nice and still, and extend. Breathing as you go, making sure that you're starting your breath before you move, rather than after, it'll make it a lot easier. Two more. And last one, extend long, and then lower everything all the way down. From here, you're just gonna make little circles around your wrists. Just moving your spine, your hips, everything you feel. Getting a little stretch and then reverse direction. Same thing, breathing as you move, abs draw away from the floor. And then here you can turn one or both hands around, whatever's comfortable. Have a little bit of softness in your elbows. And then same thing, going back around. And if it's too much to have your fingertips face you, like this, you can just do them facing out or facing in, whichever feels best on your wrist. One more in this direction. And then switch. Really try to press through your whole hand as you do this. It might be intense, but that's makes sense. Last one. And then come back to the center, turn your hands around. Lift your right foot, knee stays on the ground, and you're just gonna externally rotate from the thigh, look at your foot over your right shoulder. And then rotating on the knee from the hip, look over your left shoulder at that toe. And then back over. So you wanna think about C curving your spine on the side of the shoulder that you're looking over, but then getting length on that opposite side. One more. 
and then just soften your elbows, make sure you're in a hyperextending. That leg comes down, switching sides, looking over that left side, right side is extended, and then abs draw in and look over the other shoulder. And then again, really think about drawing that hip towards your rib, whatever side you're bending to. One more to each side. And then come back to the center. Let your sternum drop towards the floor. Your shoulder blades are going to come towards one another and then press them away from each other. And then just let your shoulder blades slide in towards your spine and then lift. Drawing your abs away from the floor so nothing changes here. Suck the arms and shoulder blade placement on your back. One more time. Good. Now you're going to extend your right leg back behind you. Curl your toes under. And then you're just going to rotate up and over. Reach up open into a side plank here. And then come right back down. Extend your left leg. Curl those toes under. You can rotate your right foot out as like a kickstand if you need. Rotate open into that side plank. And then we're just going to do one more to each side. Again, make your left or bottom leg a kickstand. Other leg is all the way on the floor. Really reach your arm up. Getting a nice stretch through that side, through your hip, and then come back down once more. Again, top leg is planted. Come all the way down. Leave your left leg out. You're gonna bring your right leg to meet it. If you need, come onto your forearm. And then you're just gonna slowly bring your right leg in all the way to your, in line with your forearm, and then bring it back. Switching sides, bring that knee all the way in line with your forearm, and back. And do something about drawing your abs up and out of the way. And then in on the other side. And back in. Two more. Pressing the floor away like you were doing a moment ago with the sternum drop. And then you can pick up the pace a little. Then just with your mountain climbers for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, knees down, kick back to your chest. Think about pressing your chest towards the floor. Your hands are pressing into the ground. Then pressing the ground. And then think that your low back is melting down, putting bones on your heels. And then come to lay on your left side. You can be all the way down on your side. You're going to plant your right foot on the ground. Uh, and then slide your shoulder away from your ear. You can press into the mat. Flex your left foot and then float your left leg up. Think about sliding your left inner thigh up and in to bring that bottom leg up. The height doesn't matter. Press your foot into the floor from that top side. Use your right hand for stability as well. Moving nice and slowly here. Pause at the top and then resist back down. Trying to get as much work out of the down as the up. Three more. Two. Last one. You can bend your left leg, right leg extends long. You can have your left leg at a 90 degree angle. And you're just going to start to circle that right leg. If you need, you can move your glute and hip out of the way, like your skin, your muscles. If you find that you're a little wobbly. Three more. As you press back, feel the front of your hip open and get that little squeeze where your glute meets your hamstring. Last one, and then reverse. Again, nothing else moves except that now right leg. Four more. Two. Last one, leave that leg long. Flex the foot, hinge at the hip. Feel your back, your butt reach back towards your wall behind you, and bend your knee in line with your top leg, bottom leg, sorry, and then extend that leg, press through the heel, squeeze the leg at the bottom. And then hinge at the hip, bend at the knee, coming into kind of like match leg position, and then extend the leg, have it be all the way underneath you so that you're in that hip extension like you would be if you're standing, and then resist it back in. And it's not comfortable to have your hand down, you can bring your hand underneath your head. Two more. Nice and slow here, really feeling your leg engage as you extend last one. 
and then leave that leg long. And then you're gonna keep your leg in flex. Bring your right hand to your hip just for one. You can move it back if you need. Feel your sitting bone drop back behind you as you pinch your fingers with your leg and hip. And then sweep it back behind you and then feel it open up. So you're sweeping it forward, really hinging at the hip, and then come right back. Try to leave your leg the same amount of strength. If it's not all the way straight, who cares? And then feel that little squeeze at the back of the leg. And then extend forward. The last one. Good, and then from here, you're gonna come onto your back. Grab your towel. So you can fold it long ways, or if you have a tiny towel, make it like a little bandana. And then put it under your head, grabbing on, wrapping it around the base of your skull, around your ears, elbows up towards the ceiling. Hips are nice and heavy on the mat. You have that tiny bit of space in your low back, and you're gonna curl your head, neck, and shoulders. The weight of your head is in the towel. Hips stay heavy, and then slide all the way back down. And then again, lift up. Feel your ribs slide towards your hips. And back down. And lift. And if this is too much on your abs or low back, then you are going to tuck your tailbone under, which means that your low back is going to be gently pressing into the mat. So the pubic bone will be lifted up towards the ceiling rather than flat. Last one, hold it up, bring your right leg in the tabletop, lower it down, left leg up, and back down. And here, think about lengthening from your glute almost away from you as you lift that leg up, your hip femur drops towards the floor, resisting the weight transfer as much as you can, and letting your head be heavy into your towel. Two more to each side. And last one. And then lower all the way back down. You can just leave your towel where it is, head on the ground, arms by your side. Feel your hips draw towards your ribs, press your low back into the mat, and then curl yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Feel your heels drag towards your shoulders, and soften your sternum, feel all the way back down, finding that flex in your back. You can adjust your feet if you need, and then curl yourself all the way up one vertebrae at a time. Don't worry about going up too high. You want your shoulder blades and your head and neck to be flat on the mat. Curling back down. We're going to go one more time. Up. Exhale. And then curl all the way back down. Your gaze should be down your nose rather than overhead. We'll do one more because it's going to And then peel all the way back down. And then from here, you're going to turn on to your other side. And we will do the other right. So hand underneath your head, like down, or sorry, left, your left leg planted on the floor. Feel that hip open up as much as comfortable. Left arm can be planted on the floor. Flex your right leg and then lift up. Feel your inner thigh slide, walking in towards your center, and then lower back down. And, and something that you can pay attention to is when you lift that leg does your right leg or your top leg want to come in towards your body and if so let it stay in and just move with it in that modified position rather than having instability abs got in your ribs and hips are still connected in this position two more resisting as you go down last one and then bend that leg underneath you then if you can move your hip out of the way, go for it. Top leg lift, extend long, you have that bit of extension in the front of your hip and start to circle. Your circles should only be as big as feels comfortable and as big as they're able to be and free to stay stable. You can also do this with a flex foot. Three more. Two. Last one. And then reverse. Four. Three, two, last one, and then that leg is long, flex, bend at the hip again, you can bring your finger to your hip bone, or hip joint, and then extend the leg all the way along, feel that extension in the front of your hip, not from your low back, but from the hip, and then hinge the hip, bring it back in. You can also bring your hand onto your glute and like press in until you feel your hip bone, 
or sitting bone, sorry. And then as you bend, feel that sitting bone press into your hand. And then extend your leg long. You feel pull away ever so slightly. Four more. Three. Moving nice and slowly. Making sure that leg is moving. And working hard through the whole motion. Last one. You're gonna pause with your legs straight. You bring that hand to the hip again if you'd like. Keep that foot flex, hinge forward, legs stay straight. And then press back from the heel, from the hamstring. Leg is long. And then hinge forward. Again, your leg doesn't need to be straight here. And additionally, don't worry about bringing your leg as far forward as humanly possible. You want to think about keeping the stability through your low back. So if you only come, you know, 45 degrees, that's great. You don't need to come 90 or more to get something out of it. Three more. Two. And last one. And then you're gonna roll onto your back. Hands up to your ceiling. Neck is nice and long. Press down with the hands. Curl your head, neck, and shoulders up. Abs can be a neutral here or curled up. We're gonna stay up here for a moment. You're gonna inhale, pump your arms. For five and exhale. For five. Inhale for five. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Right leg comes to the tabletop. Inhale. Hips stay nice and square regardless of what position you're in. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Change leg. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. If you'd like, you can bring both legs to tabletop now, or you can alternate legs or leave them both on the ground. Inhaling for five and exhaling for five. Inhale. And exhale. You can extend your legs to the ceiling or leave them at any of the positions we've been in so far. Inhaling. And exhale. Slowly lower down. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Hug. Reach a little farther. Curl a little higher. Bring your knees in. And then rock back and forth from one side to the other. I think that was about 100. Now you're going to come onto your Bring your towel with you and just place it at the front of your um, mat. And then you're gonna start with your hands back and your forehead resting on the top of your head. And here, think about length through your knee as, it's, as your head is resting on your hands. You can externally rotate your feet and bring them nice and wide if that's comfortable. Hips press into the mat, uh, pelvic bone presses into the mat, and then feel your ribs and hips drive towards one another. So your abs lift off the floor, tuck in just a little bit, and then lift your arms with your forehead connected, find the length of your back, that length of the front, pause, and then lower all the way back down. And here, it's super helpful to start your breath and then move just like it is all the time, and then lowering all the way back down. Again, abs stay drawing away from the floor. If you start to feel this in your low back, you can take your hands off your head and do this with your uh, hands by your cheeks, pressing gently into the mat, and just don't come up quite so high. That works too. We're gonna do three more. And down two. Last one. Pause here, circle your arms around, stay lifted, palms go up towards the ceiling, and then lower all the way back down. And then feel your arms externally rotate, float the hands up, cheek is off the floor, you're gonna rotate your nose to just a hover, and then reach through the toes, lift the chest, lift the arms. And then lower all the way down to the other side. Let your shoulders roll forward. Now externally rotate, reach the arms, keep reaching through the arms as you lift up. We're gonna go halfway down to the right and back up. Halfway down to the left and up. Two more to each side. Right and up. Feel your triceps squeeze the arms here. Humorous bone as you lift and lower. Try to keep those arms straight as you can. If they're shaking, that's fine. Pause at the top and lower all the way down. You're gonna reach overhead and grab your towel here. Um, Hold on about as wide as the towel is. If it's wider than your mat, that's great. If it's not as wide as you can grab on. Nose hovers, neck is nice and long. Legs are heavy on the mat. 
and you're just gonna pull the towel apart until your arms start to float up and then lower them back down and then float them up. Press the little kick into the floor. You could go into the floor, so you have that length in the low back and lift. Four more. Three, pull the towel apart. Two. Last one. Lift, bend, tap your head, extend. And tap the crown of your head, extend. Feel the crown of your head grow towards the towel as you bend and extend. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Extend and then lower all the way down. Take your hips out and then come direct your forehead back on top of your hands again. You can bring your legs a little narrower if you need. We're just gonna lift one at a time. Reach long through the right leg, float the leg off the floor from that extension and then lower back down. You may find that your thigh doesn't reach off the floor and that's totally fine. Reach in long and lift again. And pelvis are heavy on the floor, abs draw away. Breathing here, just alternating one leg and then the other. And then you can externally rotate your legs if they aren't already, and then feel that lift from the outside of your glute as you lift from the right and the left. Two more to each side. Last one. Float both legs up and start to flutter kick. And that extended, extended rather. Five. Four, three, two, last one. And then lower all the way down, shake your hips out. We're gonna do one more thing here. Um, but if your hips are sensitive, you can fold your towel into a little rectangle and just place it underneath, or like on top of your hips so to give yourself a little bit of space. And then what you'll do is you'll reach your sitting bones down around it so the towel is at the highest point. So it looks, ugh, this is not comfortable, like this. Okay, and then from here, Legs are wide, bend your heels up. Reach your pubic bone long into the floor, squeeze your heels together. From here, you're creating that length over the towel, lift your legs up, and then lower back down. Squeeze, lift like you're putting the soles of your feet on the floor, squeeze and lift, four more. Squeeze and lift, three, two, and if you feel this in your low back, take your range of motion not lift your legs and just squeeze in your legs. Last one. All right, lift your legs just a tiny bit so that they're almost about to hover off the floor and then squeeze your heels together. Eight, seven, six, eight, here, three, two, one. Squeeze your heels, draw your knees in and then let them release. And then squeeze your knees towards each other and release. It's hard to see, but my legs are probably moving an inch or less. Four more, just that sensation of bringing them in. Three, Last one, and then press back into a child's pose. Move your towel out of the way. And then bring your hands over to the left, hips to the right. And take a nice deep breath. And then up and over to the other side. All right, and then we're gonna come to stand. So grab whatever you're using as your weight. Again, anything under five pounds over that, you'll hate me and your arms might hate you too, so don't do that. All right, so the very first thing, you're going to bend your knees into like a gentle little squat, and you're going to hinge forward, your back is nice and long, your arms are nice and long right in front of your shoulders, and you're just going to pull up into a little row, and then release back down. And this will feel very light, I promise. And that's fun. And again, if you have no weight, make your arms nice and long. One thing with using the weight is as you look down at your wrist, make sure that they are straight. So you don't want to be lifting like this. You want your arms to be straight, like they're in little half, for lack of a better explanation. Three more, abs are drawing in away from the floor, neck is nice and long. Two. Last one, pause at the top, and now extend your arms back behind you, so feel them draw in, and then bend, and extend. So this little tricep extension here, you're not moving your upper arm, you're just moving from the elbow. So feel your elbows draw back towards one another. And if this is not comfortable for you, you can also do the standing up. So you might as well get the legs towards a little bit more. Four more. Three. 
two. Last one, keep your arms straight, lower them an inch or so, and then lift. And you can feel them lift out into like a little V almost. Three more. Two. Last one, and now push them in. And in. And in. And in for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Next is long. Four. Three. Two. One. Bend. And then lower your arms down, and then you're gonna stand all the way up. From here, you can be bent over a little if that's comfortable, but you want your elbows to feel a little circle, and we're gonna hug a tree. It's like a very classic exercise in reformer Pilates. Open your arms out to the side, leading from the elbows, and then draw in, draw your ribs together, and abs in as you bring your hands in. You can keep your fingers long or wrap them around. I find that keeping them long helps me not squeeze through my hands. Work my arms a little bit more, two more. And last one, feel everything dry. And then lift your arms up overhead, and then lift your arms wide. Rotate your palms to face forward, and then cross up, and then reach back down. Again, you can be in a little mini squat. Low back is nice and long. Shoulders stay down. Think about extending through the elbow as you lift. Two. Last one, pause and top, just your right arm. Left arm stays straight. Four more. Three. Two. Last one, that arm stays lifted for five. Come on. Now five. I can't count. Three. <laughs> then I was laughing at me. Two. Last one, pause. Arms stay nice and long. Keep them back, press them back. And then slowly, like you're moving through molasses, bring them back in line with your ears. And then back down. Again, your back is nice and long. Abs draw in, legs towards your hips. And then back back. Four more. Moving nice and slowly. Especially if you have no weight. The slower you go, the harder it will be. Although it's hard to face anyway, and these are only one pound. Last one. And then bring your arms back in line with your shoulders. Come into that row. Extend. Squeeze together. Bend and extend. Six more. Bend. Squeeze. Bend. Back to your row. Extend. Squeeze. Neck is nice and long. Gaze is at the floor in front of you. Squeeze. 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 Last one. Squeeze. And then keep your arms nice and long. Angle. Lift your arms up, feel your shoulder blades slide towards one another. Pause and then slowly lower back down. You can also bend your elbows slightly here. Lift out to the side, pause, and then lower all the way back down. Four more. Abs drawing. Don't forget to breathe. Three. Last one, pause here, lower an inch, lift. And then again, think about your shoulder blades sliding in towards your spine rather than your hands lifting for six. Five, four, three, really controlled, two. Last one, and then shake your arms out. And drop your weight. You're done with them, you don't need them again. You can hate them, they are not coming back. All right. Next up, we're going to be Seated. I'm all over the place today, I apologize. Okay, you're gonna sit with your feet planted on the floor, arms out in front of you. You can also hold on to a towel here if you prefer to have your towel. I'll use mine. Sitting up nice and tall, curl your tailbone under like you're gonna place your sacrum on the floor, and then curl back halfway, and then reach forward, curl, or lift all the way back up, and then curl back. Creating space in the front of your hips. And back up. And again, if you're holding onto the towel, wrists are nice and straight. Pulling that towel apart. The arms a little extra work. Two more. Last one. Pause here. You're going to come over to the right. Lift up and over to the left. Again, you don't have to have the towel to do this, but you're basically making a figure eight. And you can come down a little farther. It's still comfortable. The key here is that your knees should not be moving. You want to move from the ribs. Two more. Feels like we're waving to Miley Cyrus, but that's fine. 
Good. Pause here. You're going to curl down an inch. Create that space in the front of your hip. Go down another inch. Back up. And down. And back up. And you can see this is a super tiny movement. You're not moving very much. You can even think, just curl your ribs to your hips. And then curl your ribs to your hips. Abs draw in. Breathing as you move. Two. Last one. Roll all the way down. Arms extend overhead. You can leave your legs bent or long. Arms in line with your shoulders. Press down. Curl your head, neck, and shoulders up. Reach your fingers long. Grab on behind your thighs. And sit up nice and tall. You're going to roll like a ball. So come to the front of your mat. Just make sure there's space behind you. Bring your heels in close to your butt. You're holding onto your shins, but your knees are externally rotated about as wide as your shoulders. Draw your abs in. Find that spot right off of your sitting bones where you can cover. Draw your abs in and then grab them in so much that you roll back and exhale, come back to the pause to the top. Abs drop in, roll back. You're only going to the tips of your shoulder blades, not your neck, not your head. Come back and up. Press your hands into your shins, your shins into your hands. Create that little bit of tension to help keep you as a little ball. Draw your abs in to help find or to get rid of a flat spot on your back. You don't want one. Two more. Last one. And then plant your feet. You're going to bring your hands back behind you. They can be facing you or facing out to the side, whichever is more comfortable for your shoulders. And then just move your hips about halfway between your arms and shoulders, or arms and feet, rather. And then from here, curl your tailbone under like you're doing a bridge. Feel yourself all the way up one vertebrae at a time into a tabletop. If this is too much on your shoulders, you can just bring your hips an inch or so off the floor. So you're gonna curl yourself all the way up, and then lower your hips straight down, and then lift them straight up, just a few inches. Back down, and lift. Four more. Feel your heels draw towards your fingertips. You can also move your hands back a little bit farther if you need. Last one. Let your hips come to a hover. Sit down if you need. But you're going to let your hips come to a hover. Feel your hip heels draw towards your hands. And then bend your elbows back behind you. Just an inch or so. Feel them pull in towards one another and then press up. Feel that squeeze at the top. And then bend, feel them draw towards one another, and lift. You may need to adjust your hands. Elbows back, and lift. You can almost think that only your arms move, and that your body moves barely at all. Eight more. If you need to rest and put your hips down, go for it. Try to press through your whole hand. Three, two, tiny but intense. Last one. And then curl all the way forward. Stretch your legs long. You can hold on to your feet. Your arms are going to reach towards your toes. Curl your tailbone under. We're going to roll all the way down one vertebrae at a time, just like we did on the half roll up, but this time we're going all the way back. Arms reach overhead. Feel your back ribs connect to the floor as you reach your hands up. Press down. You can bend your knees and hold on to your thighs if you need. Come up and then reach all the way forward. And then again, rolling all the way back down. Excellent. As you go, and then as you press up, you're gonna lift just the, to the tips of your shoulders, reach through the fingertips, feel the ribs draw towards the hips, and then curl all the way up. One more time. Wow. All right, but we're gonna pause together. You're gonna roll halfway back, grab onto your right knee, Roll back with control, let your left leg long come back with you. Holding on to that right leg, draw it in, lift your chest, and then switch sides. And switch. If this is too much on your neck, you can hold on with one hand, both hands, or you can grab the towel and do it that way. Or you can lower your head all the way down. That is always an option. Low back here is pressing into the floor. Two more to each side. Last one. Both knees in. Lower your head and take a rest if you need. Both legs in, upper body lift. Extend the arms, extend the legs. Sweep around. Lift, extend arms and legs. Arms circle around. Four more. If it's too much on your neck, to let your arms come back overhead. You're just going to lift them straight up and then bring them straight down. 
farther behind your head and the lower your legs go, the harder it is on your body, which doesn't necessarily mean a good thing. Last one. And then holding on behind the thigh on the right leg, left leg extends long. You can point the feet here, lift the torso. Pulse, pulse that right leg, and then switch. Pulse, pulse. Trying to keep the legs as straight as you can, but as you can see, probably one of mine wants to bend a lot more than the other. Your torso is staying at the same height the whole time. Low back press into the mat, grabbing anywhere but behind the knee. So if you can reach your ankle, and it looks beautiful, and it's not as strained in your neck, go for it. One more. Last one. And then bring your hands behind your head, lower all the way down, legs stay in the air, low back press into the neck. <laughs> you have a few options. You can lift your head, neck, and torso up, or you can have your arms pressing into the floor, head down. I'm gonna lift my head up. I'm gonna bend my knees, and I'm gonna let my thighs come a few inches away from my body. As soon as my low back wants to lift, I'm gonna let it be press it into the mat and then draw my thighs back in. And then again, release from the thighs and then draw back in. And here you want to have your abs get out of the way. So exhale as you bring your legs back in. Slow back presses into the mat. But if you don't need to press into the mat, keep it neutral the whole time. Three more. Two. Last one. Knees come into your chest, let your head rest for a second. Legs come into tabletop, hands behind your head, curl all the way up, and we have Chris Cross. So you're just gonna bend the right leg, twist up and over, come back to the center, rotate to the other side. So the goal here is to keep both shoulder blades off the floor, and think about rotating your ribs towards the opposite hip, rather than touching knee to elbow. That might happen, and that's great. But it doesn't. Three more. Nice and slow and controlled here. Two. Last one. And then plant the legs down. Let the arm or head lower. Hands come up in line with your shoulders. <laughs> press the head, neck, and shoulders. Or press the hands down as you lift the head, neck, and shoulders and lower all the way back down. We're just gonna do four like this. Your feet press into the floor. You have your choice of neutral or curls over. Last one, you're gonna stay up. You're gonna lift your arms up to your knees and then press down, lift a little higher. Fingertips lift and then lower. Feel the press come from the back of your arms, your back and your shoulder. Last one. And then reach a tiny bit farther for three, two. Last one, lower all the way down. We're gonna go back up one more time like that. Head, neck, and shoulders lift. Internally rotate the palms. Lift the arms out to the side to a T. Elbows are soft, draw it in. And then lift up the side and draw it in. This is all part of the mid-back series on the reformer. I'm trying to figure out how to do more reformer things on the mat because why not have more exercises? Four more. Three, pressing from the armpit, the inner arm, two. Last one, palms rotate to the floor, reach the fingertips long, and then lift the head. Or lift the arms, lower the head. Bring your arms to a T and just let your legs windshield wipe real quick. And then you're gonna bring your knees into tabletop. You're gonna bring your hands onto your forehead. Palms face up. You're gonna extend your arms and legs both up towards the ceiling. You're gonna circle your arms, circle your legs, lift everything up and reach long, and then lower all the way back down. So your shoulder blades are coming off the mat, your mid-back might even lift, so lift everything straight up towards the ceiling. Circle your arms, circle your legs in your periphery, and then roll up with your upper body, legs are long. And then come back down. We're gonna do six two more like this. And circle around and reach towards the toes. And then back down, it's called dead dog down there. Corner, circle, reach. And then bring everything in. Roll back and forth from one side to the other. 
Make the legs go long, arms reach over the head, get a nice stretch through your bones, feel your back ribs draw towards the floor, lift and roll all the way up. Ground forward over your leg. We're just gonna do one more sitting thing before we do some bridging. So your legs can be long or dead. I don't know, that was so hard to say. Okay. So you're gonna start with your arms in front of your chest, just sort of rounded. You're gonna curl all the way back, or halfway back rather, pause. Reach your arms long. Press the palms away from you, like you're gonna squeeze your triceps together, and then bring your arms forward, round over your legs, and then sit back up nice and tall. And then curl back halfway. Arms reach out to the side, feel your triceps engage. Press as you send your upper body forward, squeeze in the back, and then reach forward and get a little soft. One more. Sitting up nice and tall. Curl back. Arms extend, obviously. Triceps is what I was going for today. Press. And then round forward over your legs. Good. You're gonna come back. Plant your feet. And you're gonna come onto your forearm. If this is too much on your shoulders, just lay down on your back. You're gonna bring your right leg up in tabletop and then left leg. Your ribs and hips can draw towards one another here. And then you're just gonna glue your legs together so you only have one giant leg now. Rotate, lift your left hip off the floor, bring it up and over to the right, and then back to the center. Keep pressing your torso, or forearm rather, into the floor to keep your torso lifted. And you're just rotating through the hips. Let the ribs stay pointing up towards the ceiling. This is just the hip twist. One more like this to the left. And then over to the right, pause. Extend your leg. Come all the way up. Bend the knees. Come to center. Over to the left, twist. Extend the legs, don't kick anything. Up and over. And we're gonna do that one more time to each side. Over to the right. If you wanna just keep your legs long, you can. Up and over. And back over to the right. Last time. And bend the knees, bring them in. And then press yourself up to sit tall. Bring your legs wide, as wide as your mat. Hands behind your head. Knees can be bent. Sitting up nice and tall. You're gonna twist to the right, separating just the ribs from the hip. And then reach that left elbow down. Lift from the right side, opening up your chest to the right. And come all the way back up nice and tall. And over to the other side. And keep pushing your head into your hands, lift, like you're showing your armpit to the ceiling. Over to the left. One more to each side. Ribs draw in. Up front. Last one. And lift to the center. And then from here, you're going to come onto your knees. Uh, you can have your towel if you'd like. But you can have your, I'll stand on the angle. So you can have your knees like slightly wider than your hips and your feet together. Heels can draw in. If that's not comfortable, just be in parallel. And then here you want to curl your tailbone under so your low back is lengthened and you have that extension through the front of your hip. Cowl in front of you, if you're holding it, pull it apart and then you're just going to hinge back like you're stuck between two panes of glass and then come all the way back up. Add your knees here if you need. Hinge back and form. Pulling that towel apart. <laughs> Last one. Pause here. Send your hips back towards your heels. So you're sitting on your feet now. And then you're just going to hinge with the hips and lift. Tuck your tailbone under slightly. And then sit back down. And then lift. And lower. Again, towel or no towel. Four, three, make sure your ribs come with you so you're not arching your back. Two, last one, pause at the top, come halfway down. Lift your arms overhead, elbows wide, and lift. If you're holding a towel, think about reaching the crown of your head to the towel, so in this tiny, weird little position, cover it's brutal, four more. Three, two, pull the towel apart, last one and lower all the way down. Come on to all fours, curl your toes under. 
You can leave your knees down or you can come to a hover, abs draw in, ribs connect toward your hips and the front, lift, and then you're just gonna float your right arm up and then your left. Tiny little movement, trying to make it as smooth as possible. Spread your fingers really wide, try to keep your knees low, it's super hard. And then lower them down. And then grab onto your towel. Get, lift your hips up, press back. Stay here in your downward dog, bend your knees, reach them long, or reach your heels long towards the floor. One more time, bend forward, and then come all the way forward into your plank. Feel your ribs draw towards your hips, elbows are soft, and then you're gonna bend your elbows, scrape them right by your ribs, hang and press all the way up. Again, you can also do your push-up on your knees, staying in a nice long line. Three more. Two. Last one. Back into your child's pose, or down dog rather, or child's pose if you need it. Come forward. And then again, six more. Five. Uh, ribs draw towards your hips, abs draw in. Two. Exhale as you push up. Last one. Coming back onto your heels. And then you're gonna come forward onto your forearms. Back into a plank, last time in your plank. You're gonna rotate up and over to the right. Tap your fingers and lift. Tap and lift. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Come to the center. Bend your right knee and then your left. Right and left. Ribs to hips. Your hips can be lifted a little here to give your knees room. Two. Last one. Rotate over onto that right forearm now. Left arm lift and then tap. Hips face back here, lifting your hips away from the floor. Six more. Five. 
Head is long away from your toes. Last one, come back to the center. Toes out to the side, out to the side, back in. Walk it out and back in. And then try to send your chest through your arms. So you're not rounded through your upper back. I'm trying. One. Knees down. Come into a challenge pose. And then come onto your back one last time. Curl all the way back. Hands behind your thighs. Press your thighs into your hands. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Lift yourself up into that teaser position. Chest is lifted through your arms. Legs are straight. Bend your knees. Bend your arms. Come back. Two more like this. Press the thighs into the hands. Abs draw in. Lift the chest. Find your balance. Roll back. Last one. And come all the way back. You can hold on with one leg, keep doing what we were doing, or extend your right leg long, left leg is bent. Arms up to the ceiling. Press into your hands, press into your foot. Reach up. Find that senior position with your torso, with your right leg, and then lower all the way back down. Slend your time on this leg. Rake draw towards your hips. Reach your toes long. Float them up, lift the chest, and then roll all the way back down, switching sides. Hands up towards the ceiling, press down, float the leg and the head, lift your chest, and lower all the way down. I can lift my right leg so much higher than my left, so if you find that your sides are totally different, no worries. And then all the way back down. We're gonna do two more. You can either do one right, one left, two with your hands behind your thighs, or two with me. So you're gonna lift your arms up overhead. Keep your back ribs connected. Press your arms up towards the ceiling. Feel your shoulder blades draw down. Feel your low, ribs draw towards your hips. Low back starts to connect with the floor as you lift up. Now lift your toes and your eyes at the same rate. Uncurl your spine at the top. And then slowly lower all the way back down, one vertebrae at a time, lower down. Arms overhead, ribs are heavy in the back. Press your arms up. As you reach them forward, feel your ribs connect towards your hips. Low back presses into the floor. Lift the eyes, lift the head. Reach them. Lift the arms. Lift, lower the arms. Lift the arms. Lower, one more time. Abs draw in, if you're lifting your knees, that's fine. Bend your knees, stay lifted. Extend your legs. You can also do this with your hands down your thighs. Last one. And then come forward over your legs. Scoot yourself towards the front of your mat. You're going to hold on behind your thighs. Make sure you have space around you. We're going to do a different version of rolling you to this. If what you did before, let's do that. If not, legs are wide. These are legs. You're going to roll back, holding behind those thighs. Legs stay wide. And if you can, straighten the legs. Roll back with the legs straight. Lift abs and find your teaser at the top. Roll back. The most important thing is figuring how to tuck your tailbone under to allow you to roll back without hitting that flat spot in your low back. Take time and practice. One more. Pause at the top. Pause here. Knees are bent, knees are long. Extend your legs, extend your arms. Slowly curl all the way down, turn everything down. Bring your knees into your chest. Rock back and forth from one side to the other. And then drop your feet onto the floor. Arms can come to a T, a cactus, whatever. Sit where you're okay. Just windshield wiper them. From one side to the other. Find your legs in a bridge position, arms press into the floor, curl your tailbone in. Really stretch your low back by pressing into the mat and then curl yourself up into the one last bridge. Take a nice deep breath. And slowly on your next inhale, curl up or exhale, rather curl all the way down one vertebrae at a time. And then release your hips. And then come over onto the side and then onto your stomach. Find yourself in a nice chair. Nothing to touch towards the floor. 
hands from the floor and then putting them to like a heel. Slow your toes under, lift yourself up into a bum bag. And slowly walk your hands. Put your feet all the other way around there. We're free. Shake your head out, shake your hips, shake it now, shake it all around. Really send a touch in you might have. Let your face be set. And then slowly curl yourself up one vertebra at a time, draw your legs towards your face, abs lift away from your thighs. And then you're just gonna try to open up your entire back. One vertebra at a time. Find that. And there's that. And you are all finished.